Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm about to attempt to do these apple roses. Um, I have some apples here, some puff pastry, and some you know, non-stick spray, my muffin tin, flour, um, some cinnamon and sugar, as well as some egg wash here. And I am going to attempt to do this for the first time. So, what? <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so you put your puff pastry on a floured surface and you start spreading it out so that you get an inch vertically, an inch extra vertically and horizontally. And here I flip it over. Whoa! You can tell I'm not very... Uh, I don't know, I'm just filming. <laughs> Here we go. After you spread it out to an inch on both sides. And then you want to cut them for into six even pieces so that you can get six roses. And now I am just whisking up the egg wash and I'm going to dust off each slice before I put some egg wash on it. Dust it all off. So it doesn't get all gooey. Okay, so you want to put a little bit of egg wash first. And then after the egg wash, I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar. No, I take, the, yeah, some cinnamon and sugar. But here, I gotta stop myself. <laughs> so here's the cinnamon and sugar. And now you're gonna layer the apple slices to where they overlap. Now those apple slices, they need to be in lemon water. So I soaked them in lemon water until I was ready with my puff pastry and then once I was ready you microwave those apple rose slices. You dump the water and you microwave them for about 30 to 45 seconds so that they can get really um, you know soft and pliable so that you can roll them up like this. Now the apple slices need to be super thin so you want them as thin as you can get them. And there you go. There's my first apple rose. Now I'm going to glue up with the egg wash again. And some cinnamon and sugar sprinkles. and overlap the apple slices. Now I'm throwing them back because they're like too hard or too thick and so I'm like oh these aren't going to be able to roll up so that's why I'm being a little selective on which apple slices I'm picking. Then you just fold up the excess um, pastry dough and then roll. It's really easy to do. Um, like I said, the only problem that I was coming across is that I didn't get my apple slices quite thin enough. So but that one came out pretty good. If you wanted something that is nice and it has a beautiful presentation this would be really nice especially for the season I brought this to my um, book club that we were meeting we uh, the theme was uh, we had read the night circus and 
you know, there's all these candy apples and cotton candy and these cinnamon rolls. I just thought this would be a nice thing to do because, like I said, these show really beautifully in presentation. So I brought these to my book club. It was a hit. I think everyone enjoyed them. Um, my apples weren't that sweet, so I definitely sprinkled them with um, with some cinnamon and sugar. No, some powdered sugar. I sprinkled them with powdered sugar after they came out of the oven. And then I bought some caramel, you know, like when you can get for ice cream. I bought some of that so that we can drizzle the the roses with caramel. And I'm running out of my thin sliced apple slices when I get to the end here. Fold it up over the apples and then start to roll. Okay, two more to go. Now the puff pastry comes with two sheets. So if you wanted to, you could get a dozen out of this. You could get a, uh, you could get a dozen out of this. But each, each puff pastry sheet could give you six roses. And it turns out you only need about two apples. last one and you'll find that I run out of apples here and I'm on the last bit of cinnamon and sugar and I don't have quite enough to make this um, all the way but it's okay I just rolled it up anyways. <laughs> I clearly am not a perfectionist. <laughs> and there we go, last one. Okay, so then you pop this little muffin tin and here is our finished in dropouts. in your oven. I have a con convection convection oven. It has this fan in my oven. That's the bottom. It's nice. It's what a little swirl. That's my baby girl. Pancake. <laughs> Tell him what's your name. Say hi. I'm, hi. I'm Kimberly. I'm Kimberly. How many on pancake? <laughs> And who's that? Who's that? Me, you. Hi, Okay, say bye.